So first question for you guys is, how is your Comic-Con going so far? Fun. Seeing lots of interesting um, costumes. Mm -hmm. A little jealous. Wish I could have one costume, but... Now, what? Now, if you were going to be in a costume, what, what would you want to have? Brown Hornet. A brown Hornet? The original Hornet from Fat Albert and the gang. Okay. Yes, he became before the Green Hornet. Okay. <laughs> I, let's, I like that. <laughs> and um, I actually brought my Robin outfit, but the airline lost my luggage. So unfortunately, <laughs> I have to just wear this. So you're basically saying you enjoy rocking spandex? Absolutely. I just, I, I like the way it kind of feels on my body. <laughs> <laughs> there could could there be an up episode with you know Fusco and Carter? I wouldn't and, want to see that. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I love you, Kevin, They're but not in spandex. It. They're working on it. <laughs> and uh, how's your Comic Con going so it's far? It's going great. It's my first time here. It's been fantastic. <laughs> now let's talk a little bit about season two. Obviously, it was a cliffhanger. Mm. A, I want to know who's on that phone and on the other end, and B, where the hell's Finch? We're still trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. I, I can just tell you this. He's not found in the first episode. Oh, that's a good exclusive. Yeah, I hope I don't get in trouble for that. No, you won't. I ain't with you. <laughs> I didn't say that. Who, who am I? Where am I? <laughs> he drugged me. <laughs> this is this is Big Bang Theory. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, where do we hope? Where do you hope to see Fusco go in season two? Uh, hopefully not in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nolan. <laughs> Uh, uh, if you could see your character, you know, you guys are coming into your own the next season. Where do you hope to, do you hope to see the show hit its stride? Where do you hope to see it go? You know, it, it's really, I mean, Jonah and Greg Plagman and Jonah Nolan, who, you know, they just do such a remarkable job. Mm -hmm. All the writers, we, we've, we've been blessed with a great writing staff mm -hmm. and, and um, you know, we all throw our little ideas out there, but, you know, they've, they've, got a, they've got a bigger picture and we just kind of try to stay true to that. Let's talk a little bit about New York, because I feel that New York is its own character on the yes. show. Uh, what is it like working in that amazing city for you guys? It's good and bad. It's good, it's exciting, and it's scary. Ooh, I want to know the bad. bad. I want to know the bad. Well, I, that's why I switched it to exciting and scary. Okay. Exciting because you're in the throes, you're in the streets, you feel in the tempo of the city, the pace, the pulse. But it can be a little scary because the people don't care. They don't care that you're filming. They don't care about the cameras. They don't care about your cameras, your action, your anything. They're just trying to get to where they're going. Mm -hmm. So that can cause a bit of a problem mm -hmm. sometimes. But um, you're you're brash. You're sassy. I mean, I'm not a New Yorker though. There's a difference. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the okay difference. Got it. There's a difference. And. You know, I'm usually, it, as an actor, you're safe. You know, they stop the people from walking. They stop the traffic. Everything is quiet. Uh -huh. Shh. Now, action. And then, but when you're in the streets of New York, all of that is out the window. Okay. All of it. And New York, New York. <laughs> what I have to do is I have to participate in the scene. Mm -hmm. And then fend off the marriage proposals to Taraji. Because <laughs> as wow. we're out in the street, the men are all like, hey, Taraji, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to work here. Come on, back up, fellas. Because <laughs> they really don't care. It's yeah. really, yeah. they don't they care. Don't. Like in LA, it's a different animal. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, oh, a movie, shh, you know. Yeah. But New York, they don't care. And I would hate to be a PA on our set because <laughs> they have to ward off the people. Uh -huh. And they're like, can you please just wait? And they're like, mm -hmm. screw you, I got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh, wait, get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> um, l let's talk about the machine. Does it scare you at all that maybe we're living in time where things like that exist? Are we going to learn more about the machine in the next season? I think you will learn more about the machine in the next season. I think what's scary for me mm -hmm. is that I never thought about it until mm -hmm. I got this project. And I'm starting to pay attention. I'm starting to notice all of the cameras mm -hmm. all of a sudden everywhere in everything, on your phones, on your computers, on your iPads, on your... I'm, I'm a little paranoid. Yeah. I must say I am a little paranoid and when I'm on my laptop or I'm on my iPad Bad. They're I'll watching. A, they're they're watching. watching. But you know what I do? I put a post-it over that eyeball. Really? Yes, I do. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's hardcore. Yeah, because one time I was on my laptop and I didn't activate the camera and it was yeah. green. I don't know if someone hacked into my... I don't know what happened, but I okay. didn't activate the camera. Okay. That spooks me out. All right. Hey, when, and what are your I thoughts? Mean, it's a futuristic show. It's not so futuristic. I mean, we're, we're learning that. Look, you know, look at the stuff that went on 
in London with the with the you know with the f- alleged phone tappings and you know, right. I mean as we continue down this road, you're going to see it creep more and more into society. Mm-hmm. And I think the, I think people are co- becoming more aware yeah, of it. I think from our show, I yeah. think that people will becoming more aware of it, and I think that's what the real you know one of the real interests in our show is that yeah. it's something that is in a part of society, and we've never even looked at the bigger picture until. Yeah. It, you know, we've kind of laid it out to there. us. It's yeah, been presented, and now everyone's kind of, you know, like oh, going wow, <laughs> awesome. Well, it's been amazing talking to you guys. Thank you. I cannot wait <laughs> for the season premiere Thursday, September twenty seventh, here on CBS. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.